Now we're going to go into the last section of financial maths, which is exchange rates. Different countries have different currencies. Here in South Africa, we have the South African Rand. In America, they work with the dollar. In England, they have the pound. In the rest, most of the rest of Europe, they work with the euro. And throughout the rest of the world, there's a whole variety of other currencies as well. These, all these currencies have different values in comparison to each other. And this is represented with exchange rates. Exchange rates fluctuate on a constant basis, and it's affected by things like the political climate and trade and public debt and inflation and a whole variety of other things. So the exchange rate will not be a constant amount. It changes throughout the day even. Um, we can use the exchange rate to know how much one currency is worth in comparison to, in, to another. And what it actually tells us is how much you need of one currency to buy one unit of another currency. So it can be represented something like this, where you could have one USD, which is one US dollar, is equal to 16,62370 ZAR, ZAR representing South African rands. Okay, so what this is telling us is that for every US dollar that something costs, we would have to pay 16.6237 Rand. Okay, so this is very, it's very useful for us to know how to work with this because particularly in today's modern world where there is so much trade that happens across the world, even with us individuals, we're able to buy things from international sellers on the internet in their own currency and then we need to have some kind of idea it's always a good idea to know how much something is going to cost you in your own currency before you actually commit to buying it so it it is good to be able to work with exchange rates it's also helpful when you if you get an opportunity to go overseas or to another country and you um you need to be able to convert your money into their currency so that you can then purchase things while you are there okay Let's have a look at an example where we're actually going to be working with exchange rates. So in this example, you are going to America on holiday. You convert 5,000 Rand to USD or US dollars to, sit, to use as spending money while you are there. If the exchange rate is $1 is 16.3284 Rand, how much money in USD will you have to spend on your holiday? Okay, so let's have a look at how you would work this out. So first of all, we, the amount of money that we have is 5,000. Okay, so what we're going to do is we can actually use a method that is very similar to what we used for the percentages, the conversions when we're working with percentages, that you divide by what you have and you multiply by what you want. So in this case, this is a Rand's amount. So we're going to take our exchange rate, which they gave us was $1.00 equals 16.3284 Rand, okay? So I'm going to take this and I'm going to divide by what I have, which is the Rands. So I'm going to divide by 16.3284. And then I'm going to multiply by what I want, which is dollars. Now, when you multiply by one, you can write that here, but you don't actually need to, okay? So whenever, Whichever one is the, the one that you're working with in your exchange rate, you don't actually have to write that part of your calculation. So it's 5,000 divided by 16.3284 and then multiply by one, but you don't have to worry about that. Okay, so 5,000 divided by 16.3284 and that gives you 306... ...21 dollars. And that is how much your 5,000 Rand is worth in dollars. So if you're converting from Rands to dollars, you divide by the Rands amount in the exchange rate and multiply by the dollars amount in the exchange rate. And that will help you to work out how much dollars it is. If you had been given the amount in dollars, sorry, this is a separate thing over here. If you've been given the amount in dollars, then you would be dividing by the amount in dollars and multiplying by the amount in Rands. Okay. So now I'm going to give you an activity that you're going to work on for yourself. Okay, so in this example, Ben went on a trip to England. He exchanged 10,000 Rand to British pounds to use as spending money while he was there at a rate of one pound equals 19.53125 Rand. 
the first thing you're going to do is you need to calculate how much did he have in British pounds to use while he was in England. Okay, so that's the first thing you're going to work on. I'm going to give you one minute to work that out. Okay, you should hopefully be done with that by now. So let's go through that example. So in question A, you have been given the exchange rate is one pound is 19.53125 Rand. You know that you have got, that Ben has got 10,000 Rand and he wants to convert these to British pounds. So now let's take that 10,000. It is Rand's. So I'm going to divide by the Rand's part of my exchange rate. So divide by what I have. and multiply by what I want. Now remember, we don't actually have to write that because it's not going to affect anything. So divide by what we have, multiply by what we want, and that will give us 512 pounds. Okay, so that is how much he has in pounds when he goes to England. Question B. While he was on holiday, he spent a total of 432 pounds. When he came home, he exchanged the leftover money back to South African Rand. The Rand had weakened while he was away and the value of one pound had increased to 20 Rand 45. How much did he get when he converted his leftover money back to South African Rands? Okay, so I'm going to give you one minute to work this out. Okay, you should hopefully be done with that by now, so let's go through that example. So question B, we're told that while he was on holiday, he spent a total of £432. Now he had £512 available, and we need to find out how much he is left over after he spent that, because when he came back, he converted the rest of his money back to rands again. So let's take the amount that he had to start with, which was £512, and subtract the amount that he spent, which was 432 And that gives us 80 pounds. Okay, so now we know how much he has left in pounds. Now we have to convert this back to rands again. But they tell us that while he was away, the rand weakened. Remember I said that exchange rates are constantly fluctuating. So while he was away, the exchange rate changed. And when he came back, the rand, the, uh, the exchange rate had changed so that the pound had been, had the value of the pound had increased to 20 Rand 45. So now our exchange rate is one pound 
equals 20 Rand 45. So now we have to work out using this new exchange rate how much he has in Rands. Okay, so we're going to be converting from pounds to Rands. So now we take the amount that we have, which is 80. We divide by what we have in our exchange rate that is pounds, so one. Now remember I said that the, the part of the calculation that has the one in it, we don't have to worry about because dividing by one doesn't actually do anything. Okay, so divide by one and then multiply by what we want, which in this case is the rands, so 20 rand 45. Okay, so I don't have to worry about the dividing by one. I can just go 80 times 20.45 and that gives us 1,636 Rand. So that is how much money he has left in Rands after his trip. And that is how we work with exchange rates in financial maths. Now that we've learned the concepts in this lesson, it's important to practice, practice, practice. If you haven't already got the worksheet that goes with this video, you can find it by clicking on the link in the description below. The worksheet comes with an extra exercise full of questions for you to work on to master the concepts covered in this lesson. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button so that others can benefit from it too. Also be sure to subscribe so that you can easily find my other lessons and hit the bell so that you will get notified about lessons as I upload them.